In April 2019, NASA scientists broke out the news that they were able to click the first image of a black hole. This was the great achievement for the humanity and in this video we are going to study how Python contributed to this particular achievement. So let's talk about that. Hi, this is Samir Nigam and I welcome you all on this episode of AI Society. So before moving towards the technical aspect of how Python was able to achieve this, you must know something known as EHT, that means Event Horizon Telescope. It is said that EHT is computationally a telescope the size of the Earth. It has an angular resolution of 20 micro arc second that is enough to read a magazine in New Delhi from a park in Tokyo. So there are some challenges faced by EHT and Python were able to solve those challenges with its own technicalities, with its own syntax and everything what Python has. So first of all, let's talk about challenges that EHT was having and then we'll talk about how Python was able to resolve them. EHT was trained on a highly massive black hole studied for over 100 years, presented at the center of M87 galaxy having mass 6.5 times the sun but never observed before visually. Having this powerful device, these were the challenges that scientists were to face. First one was massive data pre-processing. Second one was rapid atmospheric phase fluctuation. And the third one was large recording bandwidth. These were the three challenges, three main challenges I would say that scientists have to face to solve this particular problem using Python. EHT produces 350 terabytes of data that makes pre-processing really, really difficult. Now on the screen, you can see that how EHT data pre-processing pipeline looks like. Now let's talk about use of Python and its tools. This diagram that you can see on the screen illustrates that how Python was used in data analysis of the data produced by EHTs. As you can see on the left that Event Horizon telescopes are there. You can study how these telescopes were made. You can study about them. And uh, on the next one, you can see that petabytes of data measurements, you know, they were able to have a petabytes of data. Okay, and then they need data correlation, calibration, reduction, pipeline, scientific uh, astrophysics and uh, computing algorithms. And as you can see here that, you know, in the red color marker, you can see that NumPy was used, SciPy was used and Pandas was used, AstroPy was used, Jupyter was used, Matplotlib was used. And these were the, uh, these were the first, these were the libraries that were used to, uh, that was used to click the first image of a black hole. And as you can see, we can see the image M87, the first image of a black hole. And then, and then there is a package called EHT imaging that was heavily used in this project. And in the diagram, you can see that EHT imaging, which is EHT IM in this case, which is a parent node uses NumPy, Matplotlib, which is NumPy, Matplotlib, AstroPy, SciPy, and uh, you know, Matt, you know, or scikit image, all these kind of core uh, core uh, Python libraries were used to create this e EHT imaging uh, library, a package. Okay, and these were responsible for simulation and image con reconstruction of the data. So, what were the key Python capabilities were used to click the first image of a black hole? Number one is NumPy and adaptable n-dimensional array helped researchers manipulate large and numerical data set providing the foundation of an image of a black hole. Okay, we all know that how NumPy n-dimensional ar arrays are really good to handle uh, the large dimensions array. And we all know that NumPy are the kind of uh, package that is totally built on C and its processing is really, really fast. So NumPy was NumPy key, key capabilities were used in clicking the first image of a black hole. The second reason was scaling the vast amount of data of 350 terabytes per day involved in EHT imaging. Okay, as we talk, as we discussed before also, as we discussed before also that 350 terabytes of data was produced by uh, 350 terabytes of observation were produ produced by EHT and Python uh, helped them to how to solve those particular, how to perform the data pre-processing as we saw in the previous to previous uh, diagram. The third one is the complexity of data correlation and telescope all across the globe with data synchronization, with data synchronization. Okay, that would explain itself. And number fourth key capability were used is speed for fast analysis and corrections for data analysis. 
So these were the Python capabilities that were used to click the first image of a black hole. In the conclusion, I'll say that Python is something, Python is a programming language that has been used from web development in machine learning to AI to clicking the first image of a black hole in medical. There are many, many, many use cases of Python that are being used right now in the world. So right now I can say in 2021 and 2022 I can say that Python is a very good language to study about and if you want to start your career you can start easily with Python programming language and there are much more to achieve in this field there are much more achieve to, uh, to be achieved in uh, using this particular programming language so let's meet in the next video and we'll talk about some more interesting stuff so let's meet in the next video